That's so cool. There's no more wind. No, the wind is coming from this side. It changed direction. So you have to change it. See? Shoes. I've been living in this shoe for 18 years. Yep. Beauty up shoe. Hey, pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to a lot of windmills here in the Netherlands. We are in Kinderdijk. Oh, I pronounce it terribly. Where there is 19 windmills all along this canal. This is a UNESCO site. You can visit two windmills. They left it like this so they can show how they were living at that time. Why they were using the windmill, mommy? There is a big problem with water here in the Netherlands because half of this country should be underwater because it's under sea level. With the windmills, they were able to control the water flowing so nothing would be flooded. They have these two huge water pumps. They actually do the same thing that the windmill they were doing at that time. The Netherlands are famous for the windmills, so you have to come and see some windmills. It's really nice, actually, the area. It's really green. We parked the camper one, one and a half kilometer away from here. There is a nice boardwalk along the river that you can do. Or if you have a bike, you can bike ride up to here. And when you arrive here, you have three options. You can walk along the way, you can bike, or you can get a boat. But when you pay the ticket, everything is included. They have a museum, you can visit two windmill, and there is a cinema that is show you how they were living actually at that time. Apparently they always wore these clogs because they're waterproof and cheap. <laughs> they don't look very comfortable though. They, well, I guess if you grow up and you're used to them, they are. They're so hard though. So this used to be the pumping station, which is not working right now, but the idea is to eventually make it work again. What are you doing here, Luca? Oh, oh my god, oh look! Now, see, the wind is changing. It shows you everything they needed to do. That's so cool. Turn the mill to make the sails face the wind? Yes. And drain the water to the land. Keep track of the force and reach the wind. When there is Stop the mill when there's too water. much water. This is how the system was working at that time. So the pans of the wheel it was blowing, they were turning the wind more. If the land is too wet, they were stopping it. If the land it was too dry, they were stopping it again to let the dryness go away. If there was too much water, they had to let, keep on going. Going. It's going. You have to stop it until no, no, see no, 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 no. until you get enough water. See, Stan is getting smiling. Look. Yeah. Oh, no. When he smile again, you let it go. Oh my God. Open again. Oh no, mine's floating. Mine's floating. But you have to change because the direction of the wind is changing. It's too hot. But you have to stop it. So the name Kinderdijk is the name Ch Children Dyke. And oh. you know where it comes from? Children? So there is this legend that says the cat in the cradle. Like that? Which is like that because during one of these very big floodings, they found this basket in the middle of the water with a cat, with a cat running back and forth. When they looked closer inside, there was a little baby. The cat was there. running on the baby? No, so the cat was keeping the baby safe because running back and forth, it was keeping the, the basket in balance and it wasn't getting going underwater so there comes the word cat in the cradle it's a very smart cat that's a nice story right 
we missed a boat. I think we're walking. Or waiting for the next one. They give kids these activity booklets where you have to do a few things and it shows you how the Miller lived. No, how Pete lived. Pete the Miller lived. No, on... Pete is the son of the Miller. Oh. He lived in a house with his brother and sister and mother and father. No, it doesn't say that. Yeah, look. Did you read it? Right or... here, it says. This windmill was built in 1630. Pete had to share this tiny living room with his dad, his mom, and his brother and sister. And oh. back then they had bedrooms on the ground floor too. It's like a camper van. Ah Normally the parents sleep with the baby, mm -hmm. not with one of the kids. Oh, so just like us, right? The baby. Is the boat here, Luca? strong and it's going faster. Okay, I am not in the Look how the thing is, go, is wobbling. Oh, yeah. Because this entire thing is going around. See? All this thing, when you turn it, it just go around and spin it. it Guys, let's go Can back go inside? Yes, let's go back inside. summer kitchen because if it's in summer it's too hot to cook inside so they cook outside here in this kitchen and then also once a week this is where Pete would take a bath well I mean like they would warm up the water for the bath see what they were using for the fire what is that wood put over there it's uh, the wood from the sandal oh. see when the sandal wood that they wear off hmm. they were using it for the wood and then over here moms would normally put like they would dry the clothes through this they put it through and they would spin it and then they would like squeeze all the water out. This is a dryer of that time, right? Yep. So this is a washer. So like you do this in like a bucket and like no 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 clean. So this and is then... the washer and this is the dryer. Yep. What is that, Luca? They can keep tools in here.
they had everything animal to sustain the life they were fishing from the river So when you want to stop it, on the back there is a big, big leverage that it, it make a break on the wing and it come out and it close all the soft part so it stop the, the wing like the sail for the sailboat. You see, you roll it on the rope. The windmills, if they weren't spinning and they were stopped, it would normally mean something. If it was stopped in this position, it means that they were resting for a while. Along the lines of like, I'm going to take it easy for a while, so I've stopped working. For when like there's no wind, or that's you're like, okay, I'm gonna take a long break. And this is a short rest position, same thing. I've stopped for now, but I'll be right back if you need me. He went to the bathroom, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is celebration position. Good news, we're celebrating for when a baby was born or someone is, was getting married. This is morning position, Aww. so bad news. We're feeling sad. It so looks someone has died or something. It looks like the long rest position a little bit. A little bit. It does look like that. Wow. Doesn't it? So Luca gave up on walking now. Yep. He's being slightly lazy. Slightly? Slightly? So here we are, walking, surrounded by windmills, and Luca gets a free ride on his dad's back oh, until yeah. he knocks him down. But it's a short walk, really short. We're, we're going to the, this mill, which is another one that you can visit, and you can go to the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Cosimo and I are going to show you this one. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. The daddy windmill and the baby windmill, sadly, are private. So we cannot go there. Because someone is living there. There's still people living inside there. But luckily, we can go in this Emma, windmill. What? Look, there's a parking lot. There's a, oh. Yeah, actually, a garage. A garage for the boat? Yeah. They, oh, that's really smart. Up we go. We take the stairs. Oh, wow. The other one was worse. This is for Show you how it works. See? Oh, those are big boots. Yeah. Oh, they're clogged. <laughs> and look for the ice skating. What's on that? So there's no exit. The only up. How are we getting down? We're jumping. From here. Oh, oh. mama. Hey, Kazi. What you doing? Kazi. Yeah. Look at me. I. You see how tiny is this thing? Yeah. Look, now they're gonna all go sleep in the little bed. Oh, they're all gonna go. I told you. This was the kitchen at that time. Oh, look at the nice bed. He's the only one who gets a bed to himself. Yeah. Little boy. He must be so cold. Oh, but look how thin his bed is, Cozy. No wonder he gets it all to himself. It's so tiny. Ooh. See, it was manual. Honestly, I said when I touch it, you all have to touch it.
we're done with the windmills, at least <laughs> these ones. We'll see. I'm sure there's more all around sure. the Netherlands, but this was really a very cool stop. Now we have to find a place to sleep. Wish us luck. Apparently, we found out that you can't free camp in the Netherlands, so we need to find a campsite. recommended to sleep in farms because it's much more fun uh, because there's a lot of animals and so we found one farm which we're gonna see if there is space and uh, yeah we've seen a lot of cows sheep and chickens <laughs> so all these lines are small canals of water there's water everywhere here everywhere this is the farm <laughs> There's horses there, and then look over there. Cows! Are we going to milk some cows? They milk them in the morning, so we might hear them. Hello. Wait, what's it doing? Oh, I think it's feeding them. Oh. Oh, maybe it's moving the hay closer because you see they pushed it away. Yeah, maybe. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. See, yeah, uh, because after eating it so much, they push it away, so they push it away. Cool. Look, this one, he finished all of his. <laughs> like, I don't think you like this. Look at the perfect line. Yeah, he has a, he has a measure on it. See, look. No, but I might also drop some more, I think. Yeah, it's full of all pains, I think. Oh, these cows are hungry. It's dinner time. <laughs> and just like that, more the food is getting organized better. It's cool. Because look at the cat, look at the cat. Look, 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 look. <laughs> you want to try, Luca? Oh, oh. Some cows are still eating. We're going to bed. But we came to say goodnight. See you in the morning. So going to bed.